Hello, hello, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And in this series, we are going to take care of some of the Stranger missions. And today's mission, All That Glitters, which is a Stranger mission with a treasure hunt. I'm sorry. I wanted them to hang him. <laughs> Boy, he amuses me. You done good, Arthur. Loyalty. So, here we are at base camp, and we are going to immediately be leaving as soon as we locate our horse. That is not our horse. That is our horse. The great big black one with the knotted tail as you can see I think that looks very very pretty so what we're gonna do now is mosey on over to uh, a certain area of the map where we should encounter a gentleman who will sell us a treasure map and this will be the Jack Hall gang treasure map and this will if we manage to follow the instructions net us about one thousand dollars or two gold bars which we can locate at the end of the treasure map uh, we take the gold bars to a fence he will change them up for a roughly five hundred dollars each in cash so a very worthwhile side mission this one especially as i know that in one of the upcoming missions we are going to get a rather large bounty on our heads so having a thousand dollars will be very very useful so the gentleman in question is just up to our left uh, he is up on the top of this cliff side here now unfortunately I've gone around the long way but there is actually a pathway up uh, you could come across the train bridge and that would lead you straight there but if we come around to the water side of the area there should be you can see just up ahead of us a nice slope leading straight to the top so once we get up here we're just gonna find ourselves our gentleman with the map and he should be over in the far corner over here somewhere I believe that's him just off to our right so we're gonna go and pay him a visit and he is going to offer us his treasure map just don't understand this at all hey over here Senor. what's the problem problem no there's no problem quite the contrary well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for No, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well... Good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. 
You must think I was born yesterday. <clears throat> Between us, this map has proven a challenge even for me. So, how about I sell it to you for just five dollars? One half less. Uh, why the hell not? Nah, can't be that hard to suss out. Excellent! I don't think you will regret it. So, we have acquired ourselves our first treasure map. And this is the Jack Hall Gang treasure. And the first part of the map is leading us to a place called Caliban's Seat. Uh, that is up uh, by, or just below Valentine. So, we're going to make our way over there now and make our way up to the top of the cliff and see if we can't track down the second part of the treasure map. So here we are at Caliban's seat and we need to be right up at the top there. Uh, there is a way up here. Uh, I don't recommend bringing the horse uh, but if we go all the way around there should be a point just by these trees up ahead here a point where we can actually ride pretty much right to the top so just here but I don't recommend bringing the horse any further than this you may have trouble getting back down safely so once we make it up to the top we should find just on our right a little pathway down there we are and we're just going to follow this ledge along to the left right to the very end as best we can there are a couple of jumps involved and there was the first one which I completely forgot about but somehow managed to survive and at the far end of this ledge somewhere along here we will find our second part of the map so our second part of the map will lead us pretty much to uh, one of the forts. It's just around by the fort that's somewhat north of us. So there we go. We are unlocking a lot of uh, our challenges for the Explorer Challenge. I think we'll get about halfway through level 5 of 10 on the Explorer Challenge just by doing this particular treasure hunt. So that's the area we are currently looking for. And as I said, that is to the north of us somewhere, not too far away. But our first task is getting back down off of this cliff face safely, which we have immediately failed. But that little fall has left us nice and close to the edge so I'm just gonna whistle for my horse and make my way down to terra firma or the more terra firma in the shape of a road and there just happens to be one right in front of me so eventually we will retrieve our horse and we can make our way up to the next area and retrieve hopefully our treasure so here we are arriving now luckily for us this time we are not up a cliff edge or a mountain side we're at this old what looks like an ancient burial site of some sign possibly neolithic or ancient in some way ignore that I accidentally pressed a button so we are looking now for one of these mounds of stones and the treasure will be in one of them and it's the one directly behind me at the moment with the large rock on it but these are your stone circles or your circles of stone and the circle stone in question is this one directly now in front of us and if we investigate the area we should locate hopefully our treasure ah, here we are 
And this doesn't look like treasure. This looks like paper. So what do we have here? We have a third treasure map. And the gentleman said there were only two. Yep, that's exactly it, Arthur. So our third and final treasure map is leading us to the middle of a lake. Uh, this lake is currently over to the east of us, I believe. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of the lake. It has a, what a, appears to be an Irish kind of name, but I have no idea absolutely of how to pronounce it. But here we are, and this is the lake in question. And as you can see, there is a boat at the dock, which I completely missed. And I am going to attempt to swim across to the south side of the island. So just along here somewhere, I will find where there is a bit of beach that extends out quite far. It's actually under the water. There it is but it's just a rocky area that will take us almost halfway across this lake. Uh, you can risk going this way, but it will drain your stamina and your health somewhat. Or you can take the sensible option and row across in the canoe. Uh, I am not a sensible man, and I have opted to swim it. So here we are, we're just approaching the edge of the water now, although we've been in the water for some time. And we're going to swim across, and just where that grass area is, you can see on the island ahead of us, that's exactly where we need to be heading. So let's hope we can swim across this, firstly without drowning, and secondly without encountering Bruce. Now Bruce may well be here, he may well not be. And it looks like we might just make it. Yay, there we go. So just here underneath a rock, if we can find said rock. Uh, that's it right behind me there. You can't quite see it from this angle though. It doesn't look like a rock. But that is a rock right there. And underneath that rock we hopefully now will find two bars of gold so there we go that is the jack hall gang treasure map located and the treasure retrieved i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video